What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and we are on the test server, as you can likely tell, and we are taking a look at the new mech, you guys saw images of it, this is Gate Crasher, alright, this dude looks like a beast, and he's actually quite interesting, I gotta say, I like certain things of this guy, but he's a little complicated, so we're definitely gonna have to talk about it, um, first of all, I will say, when I first saw it, it looked like a skin of Brick House. like, look at these two, like, seriously, there's a lot of similarities there, um, and, you know, but, you know, I, this guy's obviously different. Um, so I want to first look at his stats, and that's actually the first thing about this guy that I like a lot, and I'm, it's pretty promising, all right? We're going to actually go into this, because uh, I don't have mine leveled up. The AI is still weak on mine, so we're going to look at it through here. But anyway, um, you'll see right away that his HP is pretty good. It's sizable. It's, what I want to say, it's below Orion, but it's above uh, some other ones. So there's a lot of capability with this HP. Uh, its speed is pretty darn good. And then of course, this is all stats related to his ability. But just looking at his stats alone, he's a 32 energy mech. All right. So that means he's high potential for that. If you want to use it, then you have your HP and your speed. Now, if you look at, um, if you compare him to other mechs, all right, that are in the 32 energy category, we got Panther who HP wise is going to be less than him and speed is less than him all right obviously panther is still amazing with his fence but even when you look at someone like guardian who becomes a common comparison for 32 energy he has less hp top end and certainly less speed guardian is quite slow all right his ability uh, is really where things you know just come into question like if this guy's ability is better than guardian it's no question hands down this guy could fall in the top five max so there's a lot of potential for this guy um period his ability is really interesting though and that's the thing that i think is going to be the most delicate and maybe confusing or skill level for this mech all right he has this ability called ion pod and what this does um i'll put it on here but i'll talk a little bit about it you shoot out this pod and it will attach to something you mostly want it to attach to like a wall and it will shoot through the opposite side of the wall with this giant beam. It'll do some initial damage and then have some damage over time for anything that stays in the beams uh, blast there. You can also hit uh, other stuff with it. You can hit other mechs with it, which will pretty much just like blast them directly. Um, or you can hit your own teammates with it, which is kind of odd and they'll blast, but you know, it can be effective, you know, for direct combat. Um, so very, very interesting. The, the pod that shoots out looks a lot like similar in terms of like how it shoots and everything to Orion's, but it won't lock onto a target. It just shoots straight out. So it can be tricky to hit stuff, but if you're only aiming at stationary objects like walls and stuff, it's actually not too hard to hit. The tricky part is enemies and you'll be pretty close to them, I think, if you actually get them for shots. But the idea is that you're trying to eliminate those who are camping, all right? You're, you're basically shooting it at stuff that's behind walls to force them to either take damage from this or pop out from behind the wall so that you can defeat them with your superior firepower as well as your teammates doing the same so people who are using mortars or camping and like sitting you know reloading or using sniper weapons the idea behind this can be very effective but in practice it's a lot trickier in my opinion so we're going to play with it a bit and uh, you'll kind of see the idea of how all this works and we'll talk some more about it and uh yeah here we go all right, so I've been playing probably like eight or 10 games somewhere in there. The, the bots are still at one star for me. So I'm actually keeping uh, Gate Crasher at one star as well. Um, so I do have a, a um, Archangel on him and some implants and stuff like that for this, um, but mostly for the ability. So I didn't hit anything with that shot, uh, but we'll, we'll talk about that. There's so much I can talk about with this, this mech and this ability. It's very interesting. Um, so we'll try to as I'm playing, but uh, first of all his pod has a range of 300 so it can hit It can it can shoot pretty much anywhere on the map like you can try to hit anything on the map when it sticks to an object It has a little delay. Oh, I might be able to hit this guy. So there's a delay for it. To yes, nice All right, um, you kind of saw the idea there He was behind that but we killed him and you can still see the remnants of it shooting over there um, Try to hit that guy directly. Did I hit? Oh, no, I don't think so um, You'll see a blast wave that'll kind of um, come out from a guy if you do it. I think I hit the ground with that and just tried to shoot through the ground. Um, you know, it's it's a very interesting ability to use. There we go, nice. I forced that guy to stay out in the open and that's the other thing with this. I mean, you're either hitting guys or you're forcing them uh, into a certain position. To me, it kind of reminds me of Cheetah but more combat oriented where you're limiting your team or your enemies op uh, options. There we got him with that blast. Um, this thing has a delay when it lands. So it's like it will, oh, no, he moved. Um, it will take a minute for it to start up. Uh, and then once it hits, it will have an initial blast, it looks like. And then oh, we'll see if we can get this guy. 
uh, and then a damage over time effect. Um, so yeah, we just hit him. We're hitting him a couple times with that damage over time effect. So it's pretty interesting. It has some effective use and capability, mostly just for limiting your enemy's options. We'll see if we can get through here. It can hit. Oh no, he was he's too high up. It can hit through any object. So um, you know. Oh nice. Okay. Um, so you know, doesn't matter how thick it is, it'll come out the other side. I mean, that's why it has a delay. I don't know. Um, but very interesting ability, and I think you know it can it has a high HQ in the sense of how you use it. Um, and I don't think it's terrible, but it's it's interesting. Um, and you'll see most of my bots are one star here. Uh, so we'll play a little more and see if we can get them up, and then I'll upgrade my stuff. All right, so here we go. Uh, we'll see if we use this one. I've been playing now I'm close to about 30 matches in, um, and the bots are still at only two stars, which stinks, but um, we're going to go with it. I did switch out his skin and his loadout. I'm using Neymar. Hopefully that speed will help us with the sprint, um, just because, I mean, this guy isn't super slow, but, you know, he's a little slower than I like him to be, but, you know, still still better than, like, Guardian, all right? So <laughs> still good in that sense. Um I have been finding that the more I watch the mini-map and then, of course, where the enemies are, I can try to effectively position this beam. It is really tricky. I mean, it's it's hard because surfaces aren't always flat to get it in a spot where you want it to be. He's not even shoot. Oh, he's got shotguns. That's why. Oh, all right. We hit him. Let's check that out. There you go. Boom. There's the idea of uh, it exploding when you hit a target. You can even do that to your teammates. Maybe we'll try that uh, in a little bit. Um... So I think I can hit this guy. Yeah, he's hitting he's hitting him there with the beam a little bit. We'll, we'll try to get around so you can see what that looks like. Yeah, and there's the beam as it is. We'll finish him off. Actually, our teammate did. Oh, there we go. I hit my teammate with it. I was trying to hit the other guy. But you can see how it looks. If there was enemies within the, ra the blast radius of that, I'm pretty sure they would take damage. So you can... You know how bots usually block you? Um, you can actually use them as uh, bombs if they get in your way. So I think that's actually kind of cool. I like that idea. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's kind of how it goes. Oh, we got him. And you'll see, boom, it, it did a pretty sizable chunk of damage to him. So I do have the, um, the ion beam uh, length uh, implant on and the radius implant on. Did I hit that guy? Oh, oh, we did. Wow, that was crazy. I usually don't hit him that far away. It must have been like stationary or really slow. Much harder to hit targets past, like, I would say, like, 30 to 50 meters with this thing because it doesn't have a lock-on system. That, I think, will get to center. Oh, the guy dashed away. Okay. Um, it's it's definitely tricky to hit stuff with this. I mean, I, I know I keep saying that, but I'm just trying to harp on the point of it because, you know, it looks very cool. The potential of this is really neat, um, and I think there's a lot of potential for, like, how you use and play with this but it is kind of limiting. I almost think it needs a buff because even after I'm using the implants of the um, the radius uh, and the uh, uh, the length of the beam, um, the, the damage still feels low. The radius and like the beam radius doesn't seem good enough unless it's just the blast radius, which isn't great. Um, I would hope it would be the beam length or the beam radius as well. I'm not sure exactly what that uh, affects from the system. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that affects from the, uh, the ability. Well, I'll see if I can hit him through here with the beam. Uh, maybe. Is it actually the other beam was already hitting him a little, but we'll put it back up and see if we can do a little more damage. There we go. We're hitting him with it. So it does reach to him from the center, which actually isn't bad, but it's not an insane length. So it does feel like it could be a little bit longer. Um, so I do feel like the length of the beam should be better. The width of the beam should be better, you know, uh, and then... The, the overall damage over time that it does because I don't think it's a major deterrent right now um, and that's a problem to me actually that's pretty good that it hit him from there but you get the idea of how that can work too um, if you can hit it at the right angle like if I were to hit it here and it went through the center of the opposite side it, it will go directly on the opposite side however you put it in so um, has potential for doing some cool weird stuff but I think it's something that you know requires a lot of practice use all that kind of stuff to get good with but that's the thing, though. I mean, I, I like the idea of this mech. He's not super easy to pilot with his ability, though. But his stats are there. And that's where I think, like, I sit with this guy. It's very tricky. Um, and uh, I don't know. It's also hard for me to say I can't max him out. Or I could, but it would just be, like, uh, you know, 
it would just be destroying everything. It would be seal clubbing. So there's not really a whole lot of benefit. You see everything here is at two star. So I don't know. I, I, I really think the potential for this is good. I do think he's quote unquote balanced, but I think his ability needs some tweaking to maybe be a little easier or function better. Because right now I don't know if his ability will like in real 5v5 combat be effective enough as a deterrent for campers. I don't think the um, damage is strong enough and I don't think it's easy enough to hit your target with uh, the capabilities of the ability right now. But in terms of like his stats and everything like that, it's, it's up there. It's very good for a 32 energy mech alone. Um, so that alone has a ton of potential. Um, so I hope it's something that might get slightly adjusted, but I do think overall it's it's a mech with a lot of potential and could be very good if you learn how to use it. Uh, it seems very fun too. I, I like the idea of him overall, but you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.